Hi, welcome to Rare's Reviews. If you're into slimline wallets, I've got three that you should check out. I'm nerdy and geeky, and currently I'm into slimline wallets. There's loads to find on crowdfunding website Kickstarter. When they pop up on my social feeds, I'm always curious to find out what the next company has to offer. Slimline wallets seem to be the in thing right now, so I thought I'd have a look at three options available. In this video, we're looking at the Nomatic Wallet, Fox Redefined Accountant Wallet, and an RFID blocking pop-up wallet. Let's start with the Nomatic Wallet. I came across the Nomatic Wallet whilst backing another Nomatic product on Kickstarter, and it was this Nomatic Wallet that got me into Slimline Wallets. The Nomatic Wallet works on a basic pull tab principle, and that simplicity is what makes it work so well. It holds between 4 and 14 cards, though I have not used it at suggested capacity as I don't really have that many cards. I also don't tend to use that many cards with an automatic wallet as I don't really like to stretch the elastic too much. The maximum number of cards I've used is 8 and I would probably recommend that as maximum capacity personally. Whilst it is made of elastic, it is durable. I've owned mine for about 4 to 5 years now and it's still going strong. The wallet itself has space for the most used card for quick access. Use the pull tab and then you get access to your four most used cards. For everything in between, then just fan out the cards, pick the one you want to use, and you're done. When you're finished using your cards, just push them together and that's it away. There's also a small slot for cash, a key, or anything small and thin that you need to carry, like a SIM card, a memory card, or even a guitar pick. The only grip I have with the Nomatic Wallet is that the card edges are exposed and when you frequently take it in and out of your pocket, I find the thin film plastic that covers some bank cards will start to peel off. Other than that, the Nomatic Wallet is a go-to choice for me, especially when travelling. Next we have the Fox Redefined Accountant Wallet. This is one of three different designs offered by Fox in their Redefined series. I found this wallet through Kickstarter and back to the campaign back in 2018. The Accountant Wallet is a mid-tier offering of the Redefined series. It gets the Accountant name because it also has a compartment that holds cash too, coins or paper money. The Accountant Wallet also works with a pull tab system or a double tab system as you can put your cards on both sides of the pull tab. The Accountant is made of both leather and elastic. The leather section holds the cards and the elastic material is what wraps around the wallet. The elastic allows the wallet to expand to fit the many cards you want to carry. There's a separate compartment in the back for your most used card for easy access. The coin compartment is protected with a thin elastic band and you'll see in my wallet it's a blue elastic band. However, the elastic trim only comes in black if you buy one now. This multicolour choice was only offered through the Kickstarter campaign, sadly. Fox doesn't state the maximum number of cards that you can use. I have used it with up to 10 cards, a mixture of bank cards and store cards, and they all fit nicely. However, I do find the more cards you have, it becomes increasingly difficult to access each card, especially ones through the middle. Eight cards is a comfortable fit, but for this wallet, less is more. While the wallet has a compartment for coins, I don't really suggest it for that. The compartment isn't really secure for loose change or even a key. I found that coins would easily slip out, but it is great for putting your paper money into. The Fox Accountant Wallet really is a minimalist wallet. It's very slim. And if all you want to do is carry cars, then you should probably opt for the minimalist model and not the Accountant model. On the Fox website, you also have the option to buy an RFID blocking card for five euros, roughly 450 in pounds sterling. I do recommend picking one up if you can. Now next up is this pop-up wallet. This one doesn't have a brand name and it's pretty generic, but I love this wallet. It isn't quite as minimal or slim as the previous mentioned wallets, but it has a smaller profile than your traditional wallet. The pop-up slot can house up to five embossed cards or seven flat cards. More cards can be carried inside the wallet and there are two slots that can fit up to three cards in each. Any more than that and you won't be able to close the wallet nicely. Inside the wallet there's also a money clip and your cash can easily be accessed when you need it. The lever is nicely fitted at the bottom corner of the wallet. When you need access to your cards, just pull the lever and the cards will pop up in a gradual fashion and this allows you to pick your cards easily. 
For me, this is one of the appeals for getting such a wallet, its pop-up functionality. It's gimmicky, but it's a great way for me to access my cards quickly. A quick pull of lever, and voila, access to my cards. This wallet is made of genuine leather. The pop-up slot is made of lightweight metal with a slim profile. It feels robust and the lever is sturdy, and it also has RFID blocking, keeping your cards away and safe from scanners. So which one do I prefer? I find myself switching between them all very often, depending on my mood. Right now, what's currently in my pocket is this pop-up wallet, mainly for the pop-up function. I can carry all my bank cards, store cards, and my license with me, with the option to put in cash in there too. When traveling, which won't be happening soon, sadly, I tend to use the Nomatic wallet for its very minimal design and function. I don't carry as many cards when traveling and the Nomatic wallet is perfect for carrying your cards in my pocket without the bulk. Out of the three wallets featured in this video, my least favorite is the Fox wallet. I find the pull tab system isn't as smooth as it should be and I feel the cards don't sit nicely after pulling cards out and put them back, even when carrying a minimal of four cards, but I do like its slim profile so it does get use for me every so often. There's no winner for me, more one that I prefer to use given a situation or a mood. Do you have any of these wallets? Are there any you recommend? Hit up the comments and let me know. As always, if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, why not subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget the bell icon so you can be notified when I upload a video. Until next time, thanks for watching.